Welcome back to episode 7 of VFL Fiorentina and today we have three games in three different competitions but all against Italian sides. In the Coppa Italia here we have Piscara, played them earlier on in the league and we got ourselves a 1-1 draw with a last minute own goal so they wanted a bit of revenge for that and we also wanted a bit of revenge as well because we felt we didn't play it as bad as it was deemed. The second game will be against Modena in the league and the third game will be against Provicelli also an Italian team, but in the Super Cup, and it'll be our third and final game of our Super Cup group. Now into the footage, as you see here, into the 21st minute. Ball comes into Fred Shelton, he just can't get the contact. I didn't play this game myself, but I have watched it back, and it is a bit of a dull game. The first half, there isn't really much that happens as we whip another ball into the box. Comes back dead, uh, back post to Deadeye, who has a pretty weak header. It's well, poor position from the goalkeeper as well, but he gets away with it. As you see there from the half-time stats, it's just pretty awful. Houston here into the second half, knocks it into Zeko. He knocks it inside, and again, just nothing's going to fall for either team. We ourselves launch a long throw into the box. It's just hit the defender. It doesn't fall to the salesman. And it just seems one of them kind of games where nothing's locking on to anybody until this happens. Great ball into the box. Fridge takes a great touch, and it's a fantastic save there by Neuer to keep Pascara level into the 80th minute of the game. Connor plays it into De Deches or whatever the hell that is. Into the box. It's a fantastic tackle there by Aaron who prevents the shot from the corner. It's a good save from Potatoes. It's eventually scrambled out. Ball goes wide, I believe, in a minute from Connor. Uh, no, from Joel. Ball goes wide from Joel. It's a good ball in and it's unlucky there with a the shot from Connor. He tries to go back. Stick just gets too much on it and can't get the angle. Into the last minute of the game. Great ball into the box. It's a free header six yards out and he hits it to keeper. We get away with that one there. It's a good save, but they should be doing better. The game finishes 0-0, which means it goes to Golden Goal, as is a cup game. And the first chance of Golden Goal comes to ourselves inside the 10th minute here, or just going into the 10th minute. Fridge knocks it out to Deadeye, who chips the ball into the box. It's headed away. Scabby toenail with a great knockdown to Fridge Salesman, who's got one thing on his mind, and that is to hit it. Ball comes in again from Chaos. Deadeye can't connect back. Stick. Again, knocked down by Scabby toenail. This is just a clusterfuck. Fridge hits the shot. Keeper dives, it comes back to Fridge Salesman, and as you've seen there, he knocks it into the empty net. The replay will show that the keeper can't do anything about this. I think that there could possibly be a penalty, but when the keeper dives on the first one, which he has to do, because he doesn't know if it's getting blocked, Fridge follows up with the tapping, and we qualify to the next round, which is the quarterfinals. But on to our actual Serie A game on the Friday night now against Modena. Now, Inside the first six minutes here, we gather the ball and play some nice passing football. Fridge Salesman sees me out wide. I take my time because I see Hitman needs to get in position. Beat the big defender who's, well, caught flat-footed really. Simple ball into the box and Emerald Hitman is not missing that. I believe he's our top goal scorer currently this season. Uh, him and Fridge Salesman are, well, practically running away with it. It's an unusual strike force between Emerald Hitman, Fridge Salesman, myself and Scabby Turnell, but it is working really well. People may comment that the standard of the league is the reason it's so successful as its potatoes makes an absolute stunning cutback save. There. People may comment on, you know, say stuff like, it's a poor league and that's why we're doing well. I don't believe it is. I played in, well, only this league and England. England, or well, the Premier League, is deemed as the strongest league normally, but I don't deem this league to be any worse I think this is the most exciting league as you've always got AC Milan you've always got Inter Milan you've always got Fiorentina going for the titles now you've even got La Spezia and you've got Pescara so there's five teams that can win this I don't think there's any other league in my opinion that's quite like this but let's get back to the game In final minutes of the first half great ball through there from Scabby Turner up to myself and we cut it in to make it 2-0 I was saying as I hit this I really should have passed this back or cut it back you'll see in the replay here if I missed, it was unforgivable. Emerald Hitman is open and in acres. I could have just laid it off to him and he would have tapped him for 3-0. But fortunately, I'll get away with it. Beats the keeper with my weak foot and we put 2-0 on the scoreboard. Now, into the second half, a ball through to Fred Salesman. Great ball back stick. Deadeye thinks he's, well, Messiah Brownie for the moment and just skies it 45 yards wide. Now, last minute of the game here. We've already comfortably won this game, but we're going for another goal. We'd like to get a goal difference up and we think, you know, we, we deserve this. So, Fritz Salesman fakes shot on the box, hits it across. Decent save from the keeper, but there's nothing you can do about the rebound. Falls straight to Emerald Hitman, and he makes it 3-0. I think it was justified. I think it was a good result for us, and hopefully we can kick on from this. But more importantly now, we had to go into the Super Cup game. Now, our Super Cup group already, we had played two games. We beat Deportivo 2-0, and we beat Dortmund 3-0. So, we'd already qualified regardless of the result. 
but we did want to go through with a perfect record. Now, th these have one tactic, and it, it works against most teams, although that is great play there from James and Great. So their tactic is always down the wing, 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 cut inside, cut inside, bit of skill, try and win a penalty, and when that doesn't work, they've got no other option. We do it ourselves here. We follow their tactic of just getting down the wing, getting the ball in the box, and Fred Sersman, as you just seen, takes a great touch. Most people would have hit this, cough, dead eye, last game. But Fridge takes the touch, and it's a simple tap-in, and there's no way in the world he's missing from that. As you see here, great ball in the 81st minute. We're just trying to kill the game off. Just hits Hitman in the head, and it's cleared away. Nothing really happened this game. We got a 1-0 lead. It felt comfortable the entire way. They may have got that one chance, but that was about it. It was a bit of a boring game, but we knew all around that we had this under control, and unfortunately, we just couldn't add to our... Um, Lead as you see here, this is a league table. Might be a bit blurry. Hopefully, it's not for you guys. We win the group with nine points and no goals conceded. So I'll see you next episode.